Pickup truck sales are up across the country, but the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says some of the most popular brands don't protect passengers well in a crash. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasia is digging deeper in tonight's Consumer Alert. This is what they call a front overlap crash test. It simulates a vehicle striking a tree, pole, or similar object. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says this kind of crash accounts for nearly one quarter of the serious injuries or deaths which happen in frontal crashes. Here's one reason why. In a crash like that, this bumper is shoved right here into the wheel. Then this wheel is shoved this way, right here, into the passenger compartment. When the Institute tested 11 pickups, I found out a lot of them weren't doing a good job protecting passengers. Uh, we've got a few good performers, but we see that there are a lot of uh, pickup truck models that uh, are not providing good protection for right front passengers in frontal crashes. One of the worst performers, the Toyota Tundra. The occupant compartment of the Toyota Tundra didn't hold up very well in our test. For example, the tow pan was moved 15 inches back towards the dummy's leg, and sensors in the dummy's right leg indicated a high risk of injury. The trucks with the best passenger safety ratings are the Ford F-150, the Ram 1500, and the Nissan Titan. Here's why the Ford did so well. The survival space held up well, and readings from the sensors in the dummy indicate low risk of injury to all body regions. All but the Honda Ridgeline need better headlights. The Institute also tested auto braking on pickups, which came with that feature, but I learned pickups have a ways to go. When it comes to availability of some of the crash avoidance features or things like headlights that help drivers see at night, uh, pickup trucks are lagging behind um, cars and SUVs. So, if you would like to see the complete listing of all the pickup truck ratings, I've included them in today's web story. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasian.